Hey guys, how's it going? <clears throat> and welcome back to another episode. Now today, we're going to be talking about the cost of living out here in uh, Merida, Mexico. Alright, um, I'm going to be flipping the camera around to give you guys, uh, you know, the bird's eye view of the situation out here. So you guys can enjoy the sights. Uh, you guys have seen my face plenty of times. So, let's flip this around. So yeah cost of living out here in Merida, Mexico. Um, so the cost of, like the reason I'm bringing this up is because, uh, you know, one of the questions I get asked uh, from time to time is, uh, you know, uh, hey, uh, what city do you think I should uh, move to? Um, you know, Guadalajara, you know, what have you, or uh, Merida, um, you know, and then, you know, what they ask me, you know, because of the cost of living situation. <laughs> <laughs> see look there you go it speaks a lot of <laughs> then now you can see um the point of view of uh when people say hi out here see people are very friendly out here in Medi. that's a it's a it's a very it's a it's a plus it's a big plus all right now people are friendly out here in mexico out, um you know already but this is one of the most friendliest places out here now as i was saying about the cost of living you know basically um how it runs down is this is uh is like this um, as far as I know, um, Merida, Mexico is the cheapest uh, cost of living of any major metropolitan area in Mexico. So basically, Merida is the cheapest place to live in Mexico, which is already one of the cheapest places to live out there. You know, uh, when it comes to, you know, when you add everything up, all right? <clears throat> so, and this is, remember, this is, uh, the cost of living... Um, is it goes uh, with everything you know cost of living is uh you know we're talking about man i hope it's not too windy guys but yeah the cost of living is uh you know the cost of food the cost of rent the cost of uh, basic necessities transportation all kinds of things now you know medida isn't perfect but medida is awesome and uh, one of the awesome things about it is is that if you're on a budget this is the place to be because everything is uh, relatively cheap still um and like i said it's like a major major uh you know plus for this city i love it out here so today um you know i'm just gonna be talking about a few random thoughts in my head because i actually gotta um walk to go see a client um in order to pick up a payment because i already finished the job but look at this place See? So, oh, in fact, uh, you guys probably already know who I'm gonna go see. See, there's UPS out here. Now, certain things, you know, let's uh, keep it to cost of living, right? Certain things are more expensive out here. You know, don't get it twisted. You know, there are things that just happen to be more expensive out here. Um, and uh, certain, you know, things like delivery. You know things like uh you know ups fedex things like that might be pretty expensive you know getting proper mail service is expensive electronics are expensive electronics are extremely expensive in comparison to to other places but that's the thing though you know what i mean like um not everything is you know uh, for for you know there's a lot of things out here that are you know um extremely extremely cheap but you know wine you know wine is another thing that's expensive out here so you know getting good wine um you can get good wine i think out here but i mean i don't really look because it's too expensive i would rather just get a whole bottle of whiskey than pay um that same price you know what i mean to to get a bottle of wine because in the states you know wine is actually relatively cheap and you get some really good wines like really good wines for you know like around 10 15 dollars you get like some amazing bomb bomb diggity wines especially if you know what you're looking for but um you know out here you know 10 15 dollars it's like fuck man you can get like a really good bottle of uh anything you know as a, and then the, the, the wine selection isn't that great and, and same thing with electronics you can get just about anything out here because you know we're not living in uh 
you know, this ain't 1950 anymore. You know, we're living in 29, 2020, 20, right? And, um, you know, you can pretty much now with technology, like things like Amazon and all that stuff, you can pretty much get anything in whatever, anywhere. It might cost you a few bucks, you know, to get certain things, but anyways, I go into electronics. Um, so, you know, things that we kind of take for granted in the first world, you know, um, a little more, you know, this is the first world, I think, but still things that we take for granted in places like uh, some, you know, certain places of Europe, but definitely in the US where, you know, you can have a, you know, pretty much um, a lot of electronics uh, or even Asia. Anyways, whatever, man. Anyways, the point I'm making is that electronics out here are kind of hard to come by for good ones and they're, and they're expensive. Now you can get anything out here. You can get Huawei phones, you know, you can't get that in the US per se. Um, you can get a lot of really cool stuff out here, but you are going to be paying more money. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know exactly why that is per se. You know what I mean? I know it has a lot to do with economics and stuff and trade and all this other stuff, you know, the, de the detailed stuff. But at the end of the day, it is like uh, kind of a reality out here. So be prepared, you know what I mean? So um, if you're going to come out here thinking that you can buy cheap electronics, that's this is not the place to do it you know maybe asia and maybe other places you know i know if you go to you know certain places in the u.s you can get really really awesome cheap electronics but out here not so much not so much no now cars are as far as i know are relatively relatively cheap you can get any car out here i've seen every kind of car out here um i hope it doesn't rain uh, I just realized that eh, whatever but anyways but you know at the end of the day um you can get yeah you can get any car out here as you guys can see um and they're not it's not expensive they make a lot of cars out here so that's why they're cheaper here you know i guess like the whole electronic thing goes that way too where electronics are expensive because you can't find them out here you know, they don't build them out here, per se. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying. What's this? It's a noise manometer. What the hell? So, man, I guess that whole noise situation is like a city thing. I guess they are trying to keep it... Uh, quiet i guess uh things are too loud out here I, I don't know i never thought that they were loud to begin with now the people in power at the moment the people in government are you know more of like the what is it the one percent i think the one percent is who's in power in the government out here right now so yeah you take that with uh, a grain of salt that's what you might that's what you, you're seeing certain things happen you know if you watch a lot of my episodes uh it's like, well, you know, again, it's like imagine the 1% was the one in power in your country. Oh, wait. Yeah. Now, again, it's not so bad out here. It's still pretty good out here, but, you know, whatever. It's no big deal. It's paradise out here still. We still got a few, a few more decades to go. So, yeah, so we got these two mansions coming up. I'm going to show you guys those mansions. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the cost of living is cheap. You know, there's a lot of so. I mean, the reason I'm not focusing on other things like food and 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 uh, all that other stuff, you know, rent and um, other bills, is because I've talked about that before. I'll run that down again for any new viewers out there. But look, look check these out. Check these uh, two mansions out. One of these mansions just got sold for 14 million. And 14 million out here was like, oh my God, that's such a lot of money. And I'm thinking 14 million, that's not that much money at all. That's crazy, huh? So yeah. And these things are beyond historic. You know, these things, I don't know. These are two mansions that have been here a very long time. I'm, sh I'm, sure, I'm sure you've seen them before already. But anyways, all right. So yeah. The, the, yeah, so anyways, one of them sold for, for 14 million and uh, nobody knows to who. 
and uh, and who and yeah nobody knows to who and it's a little bit of a a little bit of a scandal out here because you know people want to know what's up but anyways so yeah you know if you act now you can get your piece of property as well all right so things are cheap even mansions in the middle of uh the most expensive part of town they cost you know again just uh 14 million dollars that's uh, the most expensive piece of property out here you're gonna probably find maybe not maybe not i'm sure there's more but you know that goes to show you you know 14 million dollars that's like a fuck yeah that's like pick any property in la or new york you know are you kidding me 14 million is probably nothing in comparison but yeah it seems like it's raining it might be raining i hope it doesn't rain you know okay so i i, I, got, I gotta go um to again a client's house you know pick up some money i already finished uh their work i already finished uh you know the video the photography everything i was gonna do for them so now i'm just on my way to um deliver the final final uh cut final product and pick up my money you gotta get paid gotta get paid right look at this what's going on here but anyways so yeah, i wonder should i cross I'm trying not to get runned over here so oh, i guess they're setting up all this uh christmas stuff over there that's what that's what's going on they close off that street they're setting up for christmas am i gonna be able to cross or what now nah, fuck it let's do it uh. <laughs> all right but yeah so yeah they're setting up for christmas look at that christmas tree yeah, yeah. see all right merry 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 christmas hey forgot what i was saying but yeah things are cheap out here man you know make your dollar go a long way anyways let's run down through a few of the prices of a few things so my rent per month is two hundred dollars i pay two hundred dollars in rent per month and um yeah I'm, my rent is like medium you know i have like a medium rent you know meaning that there's there's a lot of people that pay less than me and there's only there's, there's a few people that pay more than me um so i'm like in the lower medium but still what's going on so yeah uh what else so i pay 200 and that's everything included so all my bills all my bills are pretty much 200 bucks the only extra bills on top of the 200 bucks a month are my phone bill which is unlimited for a whole month is like 15 dollars so yeah and then what else i think that's it oh yeah and then the light bill the light bill which comes out to around 25 to 50 bucks a month depending nah, or fit actually 50 but yeah 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 Sometimes more, 25, 50, 100, no more than 100, less than 100. I mean, I'm, not per month, it's every two months. So that'll be, I think around 25, hey, hey. I think it's around 25 bucks a month to 50 bucks a month. Because I pay every two months and I'm just trying to do math and like, I'm, I suck at math anyways. But yeah, I mean, that's basically it. So basically, basically, you know, all of my, all of my bills consist of th under 300 dollars a month in fact under 250 bucks a month 250 bucks a month for all my living expenses okay that's again cell phone internet light bill um rent and um water all that shit all right fyi so yeah you know what i mean that's uh that's uh living expenses out here now you know so now the thing is a lot of people are like, oh, well, can I come out here and get a job out here? Well, you know, it's 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 kind of complicated, you know what I mean? Like, in the sense of, like, again, can a Mexican just go to the U.S. and get a job? Not really. So, it's the same shit for you, bro. You know, so if you do your homework out there, you can get a job out here. Now, depending on who you are and what you're looking for, 
you know, depending on the job you're going to get. And then if you get paid like a regular laborer out here, then you're just going to be living a little itty bitty better than in the U.S. But if you're able to make... If you're if you're able to make dollars or if you're able to come out here and really do some business and make some do some damage. I hope I'm going the right way. I hope I didn't uh, pass the place I was supposed to go. Ah, eh, fuck it. Um, then you'll be even better. You know what I mean? You'll be sitting prettier. Things will be a lot better. So my recommendation, my recommendation, don't really come if you don't have if you don't have income don't come out here without income okay so either have a job already waiting for you out here or have a job already on online or just have some sort of income have some sort of uh, money coming in do something all right but uh because even if you come out here and let's just say you do some illegal work all right, let's just say you do some illegal work or what have you. Um, you know, what are you going to be getting paid at? You know what I mean? So you, you need to really, 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 really fucking hustle and do some fucking, you know, crazy shit in order to just kind of survive. So, I recommended, you know, just, um, I came out here with a thousand five hundred bucks to my name and just like, uh, just a side hustle. All right, so you can do it. You can definitely do it. You know what I mean? If you work really hard and you know what you're fucking doing and you got balls, like, um, you know, I came out here with a thousand five hundred bucks and, um, you know, because of my, because of my side hustle, you know, meaning because of my, um, you know, the work, sorry, I want to make sure I was still recording, but yeah, because of the, you know, um, the freelancing work that I do online. Um, and I wasn't even like, um, that I wasn't a successful freelancer either. It's not like I had a lot of clients. I came out here, you know, with just like, uh. A handful of clients which by the way I don't have those clients anymore I got a whole bunch of new clients now but you know I was just betting on I don't know just having you know so much more and so much this but you know again just coming out here even with just like some basic idea of what you want to do and all that stuff um, you should be fine you should be all right you know you should not be um, that worried but you gotta like just um, at least have something you know at least in mind at least be doing something at least uh, that's very, very important. But, you know, basically, at the end of the day, you can really, you know, come out here and survive. If you do your homework, you can and you can really make it out here, man. Anyone can make it out here. And, um, you know, my opinion, you know, just uh, because of all the other things I talk about on my channel, you know, from just a historical perspective, you know, we can just go on on, on so many sides of the, of the aisle on the conversation here so like oh is this gentrification is this good or bad there's uh there's people that hate the growth there's people that love me they like love people like me and he paid he, and then there's other people that hate people like me you know because i'm some people love the fact that i'm bringing people here so other people hate that but the point is is that at the end of the day when you always think about it you know it, it, all this stuff is in, uh, inevitable um and, and 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 again for the most part a good majority of the time growth and all this immigration stuff, you know, however it pans out, is always, always good. So in this case, you know, you gotta remember, this is Mexico and uh, the immigrants are, are expats. And we're the ones that are bringing our influence out here. And what is our influence? Well, that will be determined by us and how we decide, you know, to go about things here, you know what I mean? So that's basically it, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, things are cheap out here. Things are great out here. There's a lot of opportunity out here. Everything's banging. You know, if you guys watch my channel, you guys already know. I ain't got to tell you nothing. But, um, you know, the harsh reality is, is that it's not going to come easy. And, um, you know, especially, you know, for if you're out here coming out here with your retirement, you're good to go. But if you're not out here with some sort of retirement or pension, you know, you got to do like me. You got to figure it out. You know, you got to see how you're going to survive. And, um, you know, these are very real questions that you need to, you know, ask yourself and answer before you make these moves, you know, because, again, you know, that's a major question that I asked myself before I moved out here was like, you know, I moved all around the U.S. and I know I could just get a job. But out here, you know, out here, I knew that I couldn't just get a job. You know what I mean? So that's when, you know, I, I, that's what that's my movie by me moving out here. That was a, a decision that I made of me going all in all in on on the youtube stuff all in on my on my uh, photo and videography career and all that stuff you know i went all in 
and um, it resulted very well if you ask me I'm not complaining I'm actually really really happy so yeah you know what I mean like it's just you, you know you'll never know unless you try you'll never know unless you do it and try anyways guys I think I'm gonna end it here I know it's a uh, you know it's, it's, uh, it's been a great episode uh, as always I think it's a great episode I don't know but anyways I hope that the wind wasn't too bad you know it seems like it you know was a little extra windy today but and it seems like it's about to rain and I wasn't planning on that so I gotta hurry up it, it's that's what I got it was blue skies five minutes ago or if, you know five minutes before I left the house that's for sure <laughs> but anyways guys all right well I'm here at my destination um, you already know the drill um, don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon Please stay awesome, and uh, I'll see you guys mañana. Thanks again for watching. Peace. Bye. Hey, guys. Me and Lambo are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans, hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link at the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond. So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitter, check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're gonna see some here now, you're gonna have all kinds of fun. So again, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys when you.